have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry out to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I could not talk to you as spiritual people, but as fleshy people, as infants in Christ. I fed you milk, not solid food, because you were unable to take it. Indeed, you are still not able, even now, for you are still of the flesh, while there is jealousy and rivalry among you, are you not of the flesh and walking according to the manner of man? Whenever someone says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely men? What is Apollos, after all, and what is Paul? Ministers through whom you became believers, just as the Lord assigned each one. I planted, Apollos watered, but God caused the growth. Therefore, neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is anything, but only God who causes the growth. He who plants and he who waters are one and each will receive wages in proportion to his labor. For we are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. From his fixed throne, he beholds all who dwell on the earth. He who fashioned the heart of each, he who knows all their works. Our soul waits for the Lord, who was our help and our shield, for in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust.
Sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. After Jesus left the synagogue, he entered the house of Simon. Simon's mother-in-law was afflicted with a severe fever, and they interceded with him about her. He stood over her, rebuked the fever, and it left her. She got up immediately and waited on them. At sunset, all who had people sick with various diseases brought them to him. He laid his hands on each of them and cured them. And demons also came out from many shouting, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them and did not allow them to speak because they knew that he was the Christ. At daybreak, Jesus left and went to a deserted place. The crowd went looking for him. And when they came to him, they tried to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, To the other towns also I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God, because for this purpose I have been sent. And he was preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. There are a couple important things I think we can take away from this gospel reading this morning. Uh, first, that Jesus was always ready to serve, right? He had just finished this day of preaching in the synagogue, and I imagine he's tired, especially if it was the Jewish equivalent of saying three or four masses in a row. He's probably pretty tired, and I imagine the last thing he would have humanly wanted would be to, you know, be surrounded by a crowd of people all asking things from him as soon as he leaves Peter's house. But this uh, insistent cry of human need was upon him. And, and what does he do? He doesn't complain that he's tired and has to rest, but he goes out among them and, and helps them without complaint. The, uh, I mean, the first thing this makes me think of is my mom, because, uh, most days she's watching, uh, you know, she's babysitting three, you know, toddlers or about that age, and at the same time homeschooling uh, another five of my siblings and sometimes one or two of the neighbor kids. But, uh, and I don't know how she does it. I mean, she's probably going straight to heaven. But I imagine she looks at all those kids, you know, much the same way that Jesus looks at these crowds of people, you know, that they're in situations where they can't help themselves and, um, you know, they're looking to him for, uh, you know, for comfort and for help. And, um, and you know, Jesus is always ready and willing to, to give of himself to those who need him. And I think as his, follower, his followers, we should also be, be uh, willing to do the same. So, you know, when we have things throughout the day where, you know, people are asking more and more from us, and we might feel like we don't really have a whole lot to give them. Um, I think that can be, you know, a valuable sacrifice just to offer that to our Lord and to think of the times that, you know, maybe he was humanly tired or uh, had too much going on and, you know, people were still there um, looking to him for help. And so just to, you know, ask God for that extra patience and to trust that um, you know, he'll take the little effort that we give him and do something beautiful with it.
Today's Mass we pray especially for Charles and Elizabeth Cronin, for Anne Tobin Ash, and Tara Maloney. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of your name. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna, highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of, of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us safely offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to be the Lord. Only say the word, my soul shall be. the goodness, Lord, that you keep for those who fear you. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, if you'd like to join us again later, we have a holy hour and confessions before the from at 4.30, before the 5.30 Mass. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.